What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fantasy Football Game Show presented by Front Yard Fantasy. I'm your host, Simon, joined as always by my very handsome co-host, John Luke. What's up, JL? What up? Guys, also joining us today, guest co-hosting, another member of the Front Yard fam. We've got Joey Wright. What's up, Joey? Pretty good. I just texted my mom and I said, hey, mom, Simon and I are both on today, so <laughs> she's going to watch. So she was happy I was on, but sad you were on. It's a little yeah, bit of a, pretty much. A win -lose right there. <laughs> She's like, when's Simon um, back? Oh my God. <laughs> guys, and today we have a very special guest, a self-professed Jeopardy nerd, here to play some fantasy Jeopardy with us. Ladarius Brown is on the show today. For those of you that do not know Ladarius, he's the host of his own podcast, Sports and the World Podcast. He's a writer, podcaster with Beyond Women's Sports, Couch Guy Sports, Blogging Dirty, and Sports Kita Pro Football. Ladarius, thank you so much for joining us today, my man. Oh, absolutely love to be on. When you said Jeopardy, I automatically cleared my day. So <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I saw your bio and I was like, one of us, one of one us. Like just, we, we need people that love game shows. And you had it even in your Twitter bio, which means you are for real right there. We got people in the chat ready for today's show. Uh, Craig thinks today we're going to get the answer to the long standing ups question of what can brown do for fyf <laughs> so uh we'll see maybe beat us at jeopardy um joey right question. joey what are you doing in the chat well 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 <laughs> well 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 <laughs> um Kason, what's up welcome and he said you guys already know what time it is time for the most goaded fantasy football show on the internet yeah by some metrics you know if it's the number of times case and spelled is with an iz determines the most goaded we got it we win albert Welcome, man. He said, good afternoon, FYF. May the 4th afternoon, be with you. Albert. <laughs> Mr. Scamper said, my turn to be the first chat cat today. Mr. Oh. Scampers, uh oh I'm nervous. <laughs> we haven't, oh, phew. Wow. I saw Mr. Scamper's in there. I was about to say, "Is did you do something to him? Is he gone? Yeah, he's just probably watching all the kittens. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Pete said, dang, no, I want a reasonably priced Domino's pizza. Well, maybe you can get one, Alex. I'm not sure. Um and some goat shoes. Dame, what's up? Welcome in. In case it's Simon's in a new habitat. Yeah, my um my cage got changed. They changed the decorations and the cage where I'm kept. Uh, and so it's gonna look a little bit different right now. It's just my, my real cage is being renovated. So hopefully I can get put pack in there soon enough. And yeah, you guys are doing anything special. Back. No, just, just clean taking it out all the me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit overdue, guys. Like I so mentioned, much. guys, we brought Ladarius here to play some Jeopardy today. Before we do that, though, a couple quick reminders. Number one, if you are not already following Ladarius on Twitter, go and fix that right now. You can find him on Twitter at Ladarius underscore Brown. It is right there below his handsome face on the screen, so make sure you're following him. After you do that, if you're watching this video, that means you are already on our YouTube channel. It's right there. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video and make sure you subscribe to Front Yard Fantasy. It is the easiest way to show your support for this show. And we we need to get Josh back. Like he's in outer space just holding out. I tried it's to go floating. get him yesterday. Just floating. And uh, he said, how many subs do we have? Not enough. Not enough for Josh. Endlessly through space floating. <laughs> um, guys, and then <laughs> if you're really missing Josh, he is going to be all over our TikTok. So make sure you go subscribe to our TikTok. Follow us over there. We're at Front Yard FYF on TikTok. And uh, we got shorts and clips and all sorts of stuff coming out. So make sure you guys are following us over there. Guys, you ready for some Jeopardy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same. Don't, don't be too excited. I'm going to go and pull oh, this there. board up and go through our categories for today. Um, our first category is going to be who drafted me. I'm going to give you the name of a player, um, and then you tell me what team drafted them. The next category is going to be he was number one. Uh, so this category, SpongeBob? I'm going to leave with an SpongeBob, always SpongeBob. Um, if you can tell me his name, Schmitty Jorgen, Jagen Meister. Jorger, Jangerman, Jensen, or something like that. Yeah, I, that I think you right. got it. You Jorger, got it Jager right Man, there. Jensen. So spoiler alert, that is not the answer to any of these questions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the year, the it's position, and then I'm going to tell you numbers two, three, maybe four and five from that year. And you are going to have to tell me who was the number one player at that position in that year. I'm going to give you some context of the players around them, but you're going to have to tell me who finished number one. Grab bag. This could be anything. And the grab bag category today was brought to you by Jay, G Min J. So all of those questions were written by him. And this can truly be anything. It can be about football, but it could also be about Mars or eggplant um, fermentation. I don't know. Just anything. Really um, nice. The next, one, <laughs> the next one is yeah. Can I Get Your Number? 
Uh, just now like you drafted me category, I'm going to give you a player and you're going to tell me what their number is. Mm. Um, you're going to have to tell me what their number is in the NFL. And then our very last category is going to be May the 4th be with you. This is going to be all about fourth round draft picks throughout the NFL's history. I'm going to give you a little breakdown, a couple facts about a player that was drafted in the fourth round. So you know that about all of these guys. And you're going to have to tell me what player I'm talking about. Um, so a little bit fewer multiple choice questions here today, but we got some gettable questions. I think it should be a fun one. Um, we're going to run through the rules real quick before we get started. This is just like the TV show Jeopardy with a couple small changes. The major change, this is fantasy football Jeopardy. So the vast majority of these questions are going to be NFL or fantasy related. Like I said, some of them aren't like we got in the grab bag category, but everything else falls in that category. Also, we will be going in turn order instead of buzzing in. Uh, so Ladarius, you're going to go first. JL, you're going to go second. Joey, you're going to go third. Uh, the other change we made is that if you get a question right, in normal Jeopardy, you would get to pick the next question that showed up. Um, it's a little bit of an advantage. Uh, but how we make that advantage up here is if you get your question right, you get to pick the category for your next contestant. So Ladarius, after you get your first question right, you will get to send JL to whichever category you think he should be answering questions from for that round. Uh, that contestant will still get to pick the value of the question they want to answer, but you will get to pick the category. And our last change, just so everyone knows, you do not have to answer in the form of a question. You can just tell me what the answer is. Um, there is no docking points if you don't say what is, who is, they, whatever, whatever word goes in front of that. Um, you do not have to say it. You guys ready? Uh, I have a question. Oh, yeah. Okay, Joey. Um, are you guys ready to lose? Miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy. Are you Simon? Uh, yeah, I'm so ready to lose. How do I lose if you guys get every question right or if you get every question wrong? <clears throat> Yes. Yep. Both of those are losing situations. I'm really um, bad at this. I just miss Josh. So I'd say it. <laughs> um, one last reminder, guys, the hundred dollar questions are going to be fairly easy. The five hundreds are going to be difficult and it scales in between supposedly. Um, so Ladarius, with that in mind, you've got free reign on the board here since you're going first. Which question, category, and value would you like? Uh let's let's start it off slow. Let's go with uh who who drafted me for one hundred. Who drafted me for 100 from Ladarius? Sky Moore. Who are the Kansas City Chiefs? That is absolutely correct. The Kansas City Chiefs did draft Sky Moore. That is going to put $100 in your bank. And Ladarius, how do you feel about that landing spot for Sky Moore? Are you excited? Does it move his needle up or down since the draft happened? Um, I actually like it. I, I think... To me, I he's one of those low key guys I really liked in a very stacked wide receiver class. I think the Chiefs got great value in my opinion there, to head with their core. Joey, yeah. what about you? Do you agree with uh, Ladarius? Yeah, yeah. I was I was interested to see who the Chiefs were going to go after. Um, and I mean, you're not going to replace Tyree Kill, but um, I think Sky Moore is going to do a great job. Jail, I heard you yeah. you speak up in agreement right there. I agree. I think it was great value, great great value for the Chiefs. Yeah, and. Uh, I, I think he was the kind of wide receiver where it mattered where he landed in this draft and what kind of draft capital was used. And so now that we've seen that, I'm I'm excited. I, I've got some cautious optimism for Sky Moore going into that Chiefs offense. So we'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, Mr. Scamper's in here, not with a guess, but saying his stream switched to Swedish for a few seconds. Uh, that was actually us. We just all started talking in Swedish yeah. for a few seconds. Um, it, it happens sometimes. It's I don't know. It's in the air this time of year. Um, Ladarius, you get to pick JL's next category. Where is where JL going to be Ladarius? answering from? Uh, and I get to choose the monetary value, correct? No, you just I get, get to, to choose, choose the category. Oh, yeah, go ahead, choose that. Yeah, I was waiting. Uh, yeah, let's go with grab bag. Grab bag. <laughs> and Dustin already, yeah, Dustin in here said there better be a grab bag <laughs> category today, and JL I better get better all get of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see, JL. All uh, right, I'll take grab bag for 300. Grab bag for 300. And before we do that, welcome in Basement Brood Fantasy Football. It's a first time hey. visitor. Her recommendation from Peaked. Absolutely loving this. Well, uh, welcome, welcome in. in. And a reminder yes. to play along in the chat, guys, if you want. Uh, we'll shout out your good answers and we might make fun of you if they're really bad. Yes. Yeah, we will. And um, Peak gets $10 in Kohl's cash for the referral, correct? For the referral fee, yeah. Yeah, $10 Excellent. in Kohl's cash referral and fee. Jail, Basement which... also added uh, 240 plus available targets in that offense. So. It's very Sounds interesting. Sounds like a lot of Travis Kelsey to me. Uh, <laughs> JL, which number did you say? 300, please. 300 in the grab bag category. Who won the 2021 Stanley Cup? Was it the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Washington Capitals, the Pittsburgh Penguins, or the Boston Bruins? 
I feel like I would have heard if it was the Capitals. I'll go with Bruins. Final no answer? Idea. Sure. I am sorry. It was the Tampa Bay Lightning. Not even JL. a real team. Yeah, you're right. Lightning. Tampa Bay's not even a real place, just made up entirely. But somehow yeah. they still won the Stanley Cup. Just incredible. Yeah. JL, unfortunately, you don't get the money for that one. And Joey, you've got free reign of the board. The chat was all over that one. Tampa Bay, Lightning, yeah. Tampa Bay, Bolts, yeah, Tampa knew it. Bay. I did. Yeah, I, Lightning. I live close to it, so. You missed your scammer. Um, like B2B champs. Where are you going, business Joey? To business champs. I'm going to go grab back for 400. Oh, we're hitting the grab bag category yeah. early today. Yeah. Your question is, when is the next <laughs> oh, leap year? Um, it's in 2024. Final answer? Yep. It is in 2024, Joey. That is going to add $400 to your total. <laughs> I and had you no idea. To pick Ladarius' <laughs> next category. Uh, Ladarius's next category will I think be. I'm on a little bit of a lag right now. I apologize, guys. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, he's real delayed. Ooh, okay, real. So now delayed. I'm hosting the show. Um, Ladarius, you're gonna go. You know what? You seem to like that who drafted me category, so head right back on over. <laughs> but we don't have a board, so. yeah. What's that? What's the question, Joey? You gotta, you gotta improv um, it. Um, <laughs> Johnny Unitas. <laughs> that's not a question. That's just a player. Yeah. How are you supposed to him? answer that? Who, who drafted, drafted Johnny him Unitas? On? I don't know. It was before my time. Oh, he's he's thinking. Yeah. Do you know it, Ladarius? I know who he played, played for. for. Yeah. Hey, Simon's back. I don't think he played for the team that drafted. So we came up with their own question, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> Who's winning now? <laughs> Ladarius. <laughs> Ladarius he got 7,000 points. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, let me add those to your total real quick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joey, what category is Ladarius going to be answering a question? He's from? going to who drafted me. Who drafted me? Ladarius, what value would you like? You got the 100 from that last time. Uh, let's do three. 300. 300 and who drafted me? Greg Dolchich. Uh, who are the Denver Broncos? That is absolutely correct. The Denver Broncos did draft Greg Dolchitz. That's going to add another 300 to your total. Putting you well at 400, done. tied with Joey after he got that one right. And yet again, you get to pick JL's category. Where do you want to send Where him? are we going? Great. Uh, hmm. Let's do May the 4th be with you. Mm. All right, I'll take 300. 300 and May the 4th be with you. Drafted in 2014 by the Atlanta Falcons. He's also played on the Giants, Bills, Saints, and Ravens, and he was the number one PPR running back in 2015. Devonta Freeman. Yep. That is absolutely correct, JL. Devonta Freeman, that is going to add 300 to your total. Ooh. Nice. What does that have to do one. with May the 4th? Uh, he's drafted in the fourth round. All of these players oh, are fourth, oh, right, round, right, right. fourth round NFL draft players. Um, and lots of people in the chat getting that one. Freeman. Freeman, Freeman, Freeman. I um, remember him with the Freeman. Saints. Freeman, Freeman, um, and Freeman. Um, nice job, JL. You're going to get to Thank pick you. Joey's category after that one. All right, Joey. That is your real name. Let's go for, he was number one. 200. Okay, 200, and he was number one. 2020 PPR running backs. The one is blank, but two, three, four, and five were Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry, David Montgomery, and Aaron Jones. Who was number one in 2020? I know who I, know I would Chris, guess. I'm going to guess Christian McCaffrey, but I'm thinking he might have been injured that year. Final answer? <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm no. sorry. You were incorrect. It was Alvin was Kamara. That Alvin Kamara sense. was the number one PPR yeah. running back. He had some crazy games, the six touchdown Six touchdown game games 16, that year. Yep. You remember that? Oh, I do. That was absolutely that. nuts. Yep. We got Kamara, Kamara, Saints oh. RB from the Chosen Rose. Kamara, Kamara, and the Chosen Rose says it's CMC. That was the Mike Close. Davis. They were on your side. No. That was the Mike Davis year. <laughs> Mike nice Davis. job on. Oh, wait, not yeah. nice job on that one. You got that one wrong. But I guess nice job for Ladarius because he gets to pick his own category now. Ladarius, what category would you like? Um,. I'm not going to f- – if they broke, don't fix it. Uh, let's do who drafted me for four. Who drafted me Thank for you. four? Ryan Fitzpatrick. 
I need to know who drafted Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, who are the St. Louis Rams? Final answer. Lock it in. It was the nice. St. Louis Rams. Nice pull, Ladarius. I thought that one was tricky with how like how many different teams Fitzpatrick has played. Not yeah, and in hell, I would have got. I would have said Bills. I, that's the first team I think yeah. of him with. Because I think he was a seventh round pick. I think that's why he was kinda, a seventh round pick. Yeah, yeah you're exactly right. Um, some high. guesses in the chat: Jets, Texans, Bengals. But then we did have a couple Bengals. Rams: Albert, Dustin, Basement, and Peaked. All getting that one right. Nice job on well that done. one, guys. Well, Darius, yet again, you're killing it so far, which means you get to pick JL's next category. Uh, let's since he loved it last time, we'll do grab bag. All right, I'll take. Um, oh God, I am traumatized. I don't want to take the 200. I feel like it's it's going to be another D and D question. <laughs> I didn't write these, JL, so you might be oh, safe. A few. J All right, Jay wrote these. Okay, the 200. Which wrestler has won the most Royal Rumbles? Shawn Michaels, Hulk Hogan, or Stone Cold Steve Austin? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Final answer? Sure. Well, you guessed your way into that one, Woo! JL. You got it right. Three. Knew it the whole time. Cold, I definitely two. know who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. <laughs> Not a doubt in my mind. Yeah. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. <laughs> JL, that is going to add 200 to your total, giving you 500 <laughs> points. And, you know, it's kind of funny. Of all the people to get that one specific question, you are the only non-wrestling fan on the show yeah. today. Ladarius, Ladarius big wrestling guy? are both wrestling fans. That's what you guys were talking about when I joined, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that um, was the Swedish we were talking about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> um, JL, you did get that one right, though, which means now you get to pick Joey's category. All right. Uh, send Joey to who drafted me. 200. 200 and who drafted me for Joey. Eli Manning. Who drafted Eli Manning? I know this one. I do yeah. too. I'm so I know. Of course, he played for the Giants, but he was drafted by the Chargers, and then didn't his dad piss and moan about it, so they got traded to the Giants. So Chargers. Final answer. Yep. It was the Chargers, the San Diego Chargers specifically, but I'll still give it to you on that one. You get 200 <laughs> points, and that one was a little bit of a trick. But I'm glad sorry, you Archie, if you were just right watching there. right now. Um, or I'm gonna send Ladarius to. He was number one. He was number one. All these people in the chat getting that one right. Chargers, 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 Chargers. And Dame somehow has used Bolts for two different teams, neither of which are actually named the Bolts, but it's the right answer for the Lightning and for the Chargers. Um, gotten that one right twice, Dame. Kaysen with Chargers. Jaywell Chargers of San Diego. Peaked with San Diego and Sarah Chargers. Easy. Well, it was a two hundred dollar question. Could Easy. you imagine if I missed that? Oh my goodness! <laughs> you would have been humiliated in front of Sarah and Kaysen and Jay Wall. <laughs> I've been um, humiliated in front of Wall before, so that's just it's nothing new. Of course, Joey. Where did you say Ladarius was going? Um, he's number one. He Ladarius okay. is doing too good, and who drafted me? I got to get him off there. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to, but okay, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's do, let's go right smack in the middle. Let's go for 300, 300. And he was number one, 2015 quarterbacks. Number one yes. is blank. No, no, no. Two is Tom Brady. Three was Russell Wilson. Four was Blake Bortles. And five was Carson Palmer. Who was the number one scoring quarterback in 2015? Some of these two, are throwbacks for sure. Yeah. I got two core, two, maybe three quarterbacks in my head. I'm trying to rationalize. I'm trying to go back to the year 2015. Good year. Good year. It's a good year. Great year. Things happen. Blake Bortles is throwing me off. <laughs> Honestly, if we're being honest, all of these only had three names <laughs> listed. Then I saw Bortles was number four on this list, and I changed all of them yeah. to have five because I needed yeah. Bortles to be on that list. <sighs> Bortles is throwing me off because. Okay, I don't. What's it gonna be, Ladarius? Okay, you know, I it's probably wrong. And oh, did it, that's my answer. Oh, what you froze it? right as you said it. What was it? It, it was a. Uh, my answer was Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Okay, it's the correct cast. answer is Cam oh. Newton. Cam Newton Cam was the number Newton. one overall scoring quarterback in yeah. 2015. 
Yeah. Wow, I don't know Peyton. Peyton. Yeah. Because when um, was Peyton's huge? Year? It was like that, oh, that was like guesses in the chat on that one. Manning, lots of people on the Manning train with you. Yeah. Yeah. Choo choo, choo choo. <laughs> Cam Newton, that's a good pick. Yeah. Oh, we lose Simon. I think oh, we, we did. That right All, right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. A <laughs> few words from our sponsors. <laughs> and Albert asking, did Cam win MVP in 2015? I think that was the year. Yeah, that was the MVP year. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was his rookie year, right? Mm, I don't think so. I think didn't they go to Super Bowl this in 2015 against against the Broncos that year? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. That yeah. Does that's sense. what probably maybe you know Peyton just stood out. Peyton just right. Stood out. Yeah. yeah. Because what well, Blake Bortles threw me off. I, that that's that zero lie about that. Yeah. If you had the first three, I could have probably so far would have went with Manning, but Bortles threw me off. Yeah. Welcome back, Simon. Hope you're muted. I apologize for that, guys. Not sure what's going on, but let me go ahead and get that Jeopardy board back up for us. Carlos people... saying YouTube notifications failed me today. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, YouTube. Um, lots of people in the chat had Manning in there with you as well. That was probably the most popular guest in the chat. Um, but I really like, I don't know if you guys threw this up while I was out of there, but I love the basement's answer. Oh, F word. I just realized who, Cam. Like, um, no <laughs> yeah. That's not me censoring him. That's him censoring him. Since censored himself. Hey, Al, you're it's me. Pick your own category. Woo. All right. I'll go with, uh, let's go with, can I get your number for 300? Can I get your number for 300? Alvin Kamara. And what do I have to answer? You tell me his number. His jersey number? His jersey number. It's all I 41. need from you. Final answer? Good. Yeah. 41, absolutely. That one might have been a little bit easy, but you got that one right, JL. Alvin Kamara is number 41, which means you get to pick Joey's next category. I think that came up on a one a category I came up with. I think the math one, Simon, and three off. The math one? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of lots of people in the chat knew that yeah, one. They 41, knew 41, 41, 41, 41. And if you pretend the seven is a one, that also says hey, 41. That can be tricky. That can be very tricky. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Depending on the font. That can yeah. be tricky. Exactly. Maybe their keyboards in like Comic Sans or something, and I thought it was a one. <gasps> he got Wi-Fi in outer space, guys. It's Josh has Josh has had your line so that you weren't missed. He hijacked the satellite. Josh has better Wi-Fi satellite. in outer space than I have right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, he's much less crooked. Am I crooked? Oh, oops! Oh, yeah. I knocked. Just, oops. just a wee bit tilted. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, trying right. to get the internet working, I knocked my camera over. So I get to pick uh, Joey's category, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's go with uh, who drafted me. Oh, for 500. Yeah, yeah that's your only I option. Don't, Joey. I don't want to get that one. <laughs> okay, Joey, here's your Please question. Golden Park. Tate. Who drafted Golden Tate? The Seattle Seahawks. Final answer? Yeah. You are absolutely correct, wow. Joey. It was nice the Seattle pull. Seahawks. I tried to pick a player that we would all know, but like maybe wasn't relevant anymore and people don't remember who he played for. And when I think Golden Tate, I think the Lions. I don't Lions, think the yeah. Seahawks. Yeah. But Joey, you saw straight through that one and you're going to have 500 to your total, putting you in the lead now. Wow. JL, you didn't have to answer that question, but you also got Joey $500. I'm his fine game. with it as long as I didn't have to answer it. Um, and um, Jay said, I, I thought Simon's crooked camera was a stylistic, stylistic choice. Stylistic choice. Yeah, it's a it's a social commentary, actually. Um, <laughs> Yet every time I'm a little off center, Jay immediately texts me, you're off center, you're off center. So, <laughs> for Simon, it's artistic, but for Joey, it's unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable, yeah. Josh said, yeah, putter space has the absolute best <laughs> I thought you were in outer space. You made a space. mistake. <laughs> Joey's he's at a mini golf course. Just, he's just at the PGA Superstore in the putter aisle. That's where he's yeah. been for the last five putter days. Space. I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> so massive so many putters um, <laughs> joey what category is uh, ladarius gonna be answering uh, from ladarius is going to go to may the fourth be with you okay ladarius which question would you like from may the fourth be with you are we losing uh, frozen again I gremlins are in the machines today i folks. know i must it's yeah. contagious 
Well, while we're waiting for that, there were a lot of people in the chat that got yeah, that one right, the but they were not Mr. Scampers. Mr. Scampers <laughs> got it wrong. He was not one of he the was ones not who got one it of the right. Many people, yeah. So, Mr. Scampers, come on, brush up on your your Seahawks draft history. Yep. Um, said, oops. I think he's the only one that was wrong because technically, chosen roses was a question, not an answer. You're right. Yeah, was asking us, and we answered yeah. no. No, that's the wrong. No. Um, Thanks for asking. Also, Craig saying he caught the famous TDception against Green Bay. Um, Inception thing? And basement coming a infamous Packer fan infamous here. Packer. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> we call it the <laughs> fail Mary. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, and coming in, I said, are you cheering for Madrid today? What, the city? I, I know what he's referring to. Um, I know. It's probably soccer, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. But – I like, sure. I like Who are they that playing? It's just the city. Uh, they're playing Manchester City. And I, for one, am rooting for Real Madrid because I want revenge for five years ago because I'm a what Liverpool happened? fan. So uh, mm -hmm. Real Madrid beat Liverpool in the Champions League final. They and stole they your killed lunch their money. brother. Broke my. Was that? And then killed their brother. Oh, Chevin, has a, Chevin has a question for us while we're waiting for Ladarius since it's his turn. Favorite fast food spots and go. Jail, top three. Fudge. Uh, Burger King? Because they got the Impossible Whoppers. Okay, which fair. Are I'll accept it elite. because of that. Uh, Popeye's just for fries alone. Fries and fries alone. And then, oh, oh God. So this, this always gets into the, like, what counts as fast food? And I'm just using this to stall because I can't think of a third one. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you thinking of, like, five guys? I know it's not five guys. No, they you. have no vegetarian options. They have grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. That's it. The grilled cheese is delicious. Yeah, I'm not paying for their grilled cheese that I can make at home. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the third one. Come back to me. Joey, top three fast food. Taco Bell is Culver's considered fast food. Culver's is fast food. Culver's is second. Um, I love Taco Bell. It's always it's my go-to for fast food. And honestly, a third. I uh, I don't want to say McDonald's, but I mean, I'm trying to think of the fast food places I go. It's either Taco Bell or Culver's. Mine is Popeye's, Taco Bell, McDonald's in that order. Those three. Popeye's is number one. The spicy chicken sandwich is the 101 of all fast food menu items. Then Taco Bell is delicious. And McDonald's is just a classic. You can't beat it. Um, green screen said Chipotle. Mm, no, yeah. I don't I don't mm. like Chipotle as much anymore. It's just I think I tweeted about this a couple weeks ago. They've just decided to be a cold Taco Bell. Cold Taco Bell. Yeah, like the quality has gotten so bad. Yeah, it's, I agree. And it's just um, always cold. And it comes with a bowl of sometimes. Um, Albert said, what a burger. What Never about a burger? It. It's fine. No, what a burger is it. great. What a burger is more than fine. It's really good, but yeah. doesn't crack my top three. Uh, Kazen said Canes equals overrated. Canes is delicious. It's Ooh. almost up there. Okay. I, I figured out my third is it's got to be cookout. Oh, shoot. I'm going to replace McDonald's with cookout. JL, you convinced me. I forgot about cookout. Um, Although I don't know wait. what I'd get there now that I'm vegetarian. Uh, Fazoli's. I just get hush puppies, them? fries, and milkshake, which is Man, delicious. Bojangles, I, I forgot Bojangles even existed I've because I, I, ever since I left Georgia. I just haven't had Bojangles since I moved out of Georgia. Bojangles is top tier. Their booberry it's biscuit. Fine. Oh, my gosh. It's and fine. Scott Fishing, Culver's drive through is faster than half the normal fast food places around here. Just because they're exponentially better doesn't mean they shouldn't be classified as fast, casual, or whatever. They have whatever. a drive through and they're fast. I call it fast food. Um, never had guys, Culver's, never even heard of it. We may just need to uh come back to Ladarius for his turn. Um, you guys cool with that? Sure, yeah. He was in yeah. May the 4th be with you. We'll just uh we'll plug him back in whenever he comes in and remember how many questions he had left. Um, okay. but while we're waiting for him, JL, we're gonna go to you and we're gonna give you free reign of the board. Woo -wee. Uh, let's go with can I get your number for 400? Can I get your number for 400? My number is he. I feel like he has got to be. I know this. I do? <laughs> yeah. I think he's. I think he's thirteen. I'm gonna go with thirteen. Final, yeah. final answer? Are you sure? Yeah. No, but I think so. Well, you are absolutely correct. Woo! It is thirteen, Dale, and that's going to add four hundred to your total, giving you the lead. And there he is. All we had to do was skip his turn, and he's coming right back. Let's see if it works. I knew. I, I was thinking. I was going back and forth between eleven and thirteen, but eleven didn't no. feel right. Did not feel right. Did not feel right. I believe he wore 11 when he was in middle school. I could be wrong. In middle school. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ladarius, you're back. Yes. 
Sorry, I got lost in the putter aisle. Sorry, sorry, folks. Got lost in the putter aisle. <laughs> Happens to the, to the best of us. We mentioned it. It's like we said putter aisle too many times, and you're like, I got to check it out. I yeah, gotta gotta get it. All <laughs> Can't be that hard to escape. Yeah. But there is, while, <laughs> while you were gone, we did have JL go ahead and answer his next question. But okay, cool. it was your turn, so we're going to come back to you. And Joey had sent you to the May the 4th be with you mm -hmm. category. I had. So which value okay. question would you like from that category? Hmm. So the question is, do I want to be tied with hmm, JL or I want to try to take the lead? Uh, Still plenty of game left, Ladarius. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Let's err on the side of caution. Let's go with 200. 200 and may the fourth be with you. Drafted by Washington in 2012. He was the second quarterback drafted by Washington in that same draft. He played college ball at Michigan State. Who is this fourth round player? Who Kirk Cousins? Final answer? Final answer. It is Kirk Cousins. Good. Nice oh, job, nice. Ladarius. Pulled that one. That one could have been tricky as a two hundred dollar question. I was but still going it. through it. I was still. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't there yet. I can't believe he's been in the league for over was it eleven years now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we Eel. got the chat got that one. Kirk Cousins. Ooh. Mr. Scamper said Kirky. Dustin Kirky. said Kirk Cousins. Casey said Kirky. Is this a thing? Said, you like that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> J Wall. <laughs> I forgot that you like that. So I, <laughs> I forgot about that entirely. <laughs> oh man, that. I almost did a category today that was all ridiculous quotes from NFL players, like just preposterous quotes from like the past five years and having you guys name who said it, but um, it was a little tricky. It was, they were going to be too hard. There was like either too easy or too hard on the questions. Ladarius, that put you at $1,000. This is a really tight game. Mm. Um, so what we're going to do since JL already went with Darius, we're going to have you just pick Joey's category since you got that one right. <laughs> Joey gets double screwed. Yep. I'm in charge of the game. You can't fight me. <laughs> uh, let's do he was number one. All right. Where are you going, Joey? What are the point totals? 100, go 400, 100, 100. 100 from Joey and he was number one. 2021 PPR wide receivers. One is blank. Two was Devonte Adams. Three was Debo Samuel. Who was number one this past year? It was, it was Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup is correct. Joey, that was uh, the the epitome of a $100 Easy. question. I knew uh, that was going to be the $100 question. Did you? I was like, yeah, it's Cooper. Yeah. If we're being honest, I use Cooper Cup and Tom Brady in so many $100 yeah, you questions do. that you, you could do. probably just guess those two players like before the question Ain't showed up. Nobody or want me That's Diggs, right? Sister. I'm pretty sure that was Stephon Diggs. Was that Stephon Diggs? <laughs> yeah, I think because it came out. Somebody, someone, one of his teammates that got was interviewed and they were, said something about <laughs> who's like one play, who's one of your teammates you wouldn't want to date your sister. He's like, Oh, Stefan Diggs, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex coming up with the name for the category for us. We call the category Miked Up. That You know what? That is really I'm going to have to do it, Alex. I'm going to have to put a Miked Up category in one of these. Um, lots of people know in this one, Cup, Cup. And cup, Basement cup, cup. said number one feels like an understatement. It really does. <laughs> it really does. And Mr. Scamber says that was a $14 question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I... That's pretty awesome. Joey, you got that one right, which means you get to pick Ladarius's category now. Where are you sending Ladarius? Um, I'm going to send Ladarius to – can I get your number? Okay, Ladarius, can I get your number? Which number value do you want? Uh, let's go 500. 500. Holy. He's confident about these player numbers. This one's a little different. I'm going to tell you this is not active NFL players. I'm giving you a list of players who all share the same number across wow. different positions. Okay. Jared Allen, David Bakatari, Bakhtiari, Packers fans are going to kill me. John Runyon and Woody Peoples. What number do all of these people share? <laughs> There's no way. No, I have no idea. I think I know Jared Allen's number. I'm trying to remember who's in the Vikings jersey. But that's the same for Bakhtiari. <laughs> What's it going to be, Ladarius? Oh, oy vey. What was I thinking? Um, <laughs> so two of the offensive. There's no way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to just say 71. Final answer? Final answer. You're very close, but unfortunately, it was Dirty 69. Boy. All of these Deep players have the child. number 69. And How does chat, everybody know this in the, the chat? chat? You're all, all freaking cheaters. No. Yeah, 69, 69, 69. 
And we got some nices in here. 69 giggity, yeah. 69 noise and Kaysen said, that way was. to go, Simon. It Thanks, dawned Jason. on me halfway through this question where this was going. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I was, I know that one was tricky, but I thought maybe you could, uh, you could work your way into it. You could figure it out. Bakhtari and Jared Allen are players that people know the numbers yeah. of sometimes. So I yeah, thought maybe sometimes. it was gettable. Maybe gettable. But uh, well, Darius, that was definitely a tough question. Um, JL, which question would you like? Also, Jay, there was a long list of players with the name 69, but I did purposely pick out Woody Peoples to put on there uh, because his name is Woody. Um, JL, which category and point value would you like? All right, let's go with um... – Oh, wow, I'm I'm somehow in the lead. I'll go with. I'll go with he was number one for four hundred. Okay. Two thousand twelve PPR wide receivers. Number one is blank. Two is Des Bryant. Three is Julio Jones. Four is Randall Cobb, and five is T. Y. Hilton. Who was number one? 12, 2012, 2012 wide receivers. Uh, I'll I'll go with Odell Beckham. Final answer. Yeah. It was A.J. Green. A.J. Green was the number one PPR wide receiver in 2012. I'm sorry, JL. That one was definitely tough, but it was a $400 question, which means, Joey, it is your turn. You've got free reign of the board. Where are you going? we got high values and low values left. All the middle guys are gone. I'm going to go grab bag 500. Grab bag 500 for Joey. Which Marvel Comics oh, character God. did Jay make up? Hellcow, Dazzler, Akron the Magnificent, Death Duck, Armadillo, Armless Tiger Man, Frog Thor, Mean <laughs> Cuisine, or to the Living Comet. Which one of these is made up? Let me look at these and think of Jay. Um, I had to get the Marvel question because I don't, you know. Um, Joe, you can hmm. pretend like you look like I think, especially with the camera that size, you could convince everyone that those are like Marvel comic books and graphic novels behind you. Like you could, you could. I have a couple part. Marvel movies. There you go. Um, I marvel at all the Stanley Kubrick films in my collection. I just marvel at them all. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I have Coop all the Guardians. Time out. Only one of those is made up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to go Armless Tiger Man just because it sounds funny, but it feels like a trap. <sighs> it does. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be helping you. <sighs> mean cuisine. No, it's it's Armless Tiger Man. I don't Final know. answer. Sure. I the answer is away. Death Duck. All of the rest of these are real. Death, Death Duck. Duck is the one that is not real from this list. So Armless Tiger Man, Mean Cuisine, Hell Cow, these are all real. Um, Akron the Magnificent is actually my superhero name when I land at Expo this year. Hi, yo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Akron the Magnificent. Good one, Joey. Yeah, no, it wasn't <laughs> good. Don't encourage me. <laughs> Um, Carlos Please. said Frog Thor for sure. If you guys haven't seen pictures of Frog Thor from the comics, go look it up. It is hilarious. Like somehow, like his outfit got shrunk with him, so it's just Thor, and he has to like actually fight as a frog with his hammer. It's um, it's pretty funny. And Carlos way ahead of me said, "Well, now I need to Google all of these." Armless Tiger Man. Armless Tiger Man. Marvel goes crazy with some of their characters, especially in the comics. Um, what was it? Some comic books. I was watching a show the other day and they were saying like comics are what happens when you give a bunch of writers a deadline and an issue that they have to put out every single week <laughs> and drugs. Um, so you just combine all those things and that's when you get Marvel comic books. Joey, you got that one wrong, which I means did. Ladarius is going to get to pick his next category. Free range on this one. Oh, did we lose him again? Yeah. Can you see me? Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, wait, am I? There we go. Now you're back. Okay, there I am. Now you're oh. back. Okay. Ort. Ort. Um, Ladarius, which question and value would you like? <sighs> hmm. uh, let me redeem myself. Or can I get your number for two? Can I get your number for 200? Cooper Cup, can I get your number? Why am I blanking on this? It's 11. I think it's 11. Final answer? Wait, no, 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 no. It's not 11. Hold it, Darius. 10. Hold it, Darius. 10. We'll lock in with 10. 10 is absolutely correct. Good, Good pull on that one, getting that one right. And this one could have been tricky because his first three years in the league, he was actually number 18 and changed his number to number 10. Um, but I figured with how much he was on our TVs this year that this one was gettable. Ladarius, yeah. getting that one right makes this a three-way tie Ooh, for whoop. first place right now. It is a three-way tie, 1,200 to 1,200 to 1,200. And you've got the power here. You get to pick Jail's next category. Where are you sending them? 
Ah, uh, hmm. Where are we going, Ladarius? I don't know. Two plays. The question is, you know what? Because it was tricky for me. Maybe it was tricky. I'll go with he was number one. Final All right. Or final That's answer. Final answer. <laughs> Yeah. Dale, yeah. 500, Final I'm answer, guessing. Just, I don't have a choice, do I? 500. No, I mean, you could pass, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Your question, 2014 PPR overall, all players. Number one, question mark. Number two is Lev Bell. Number three is Aaron Rodgers. Number four is Russell Wilson. And number five is Des Bryant, who was the number one overall scoring player in 2014. 2014 is right around when I was – Getting into fantasy, I believe. I believe it was that year. Let Bell, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson. I know Antonio Brown had a really good ye- season that season. For sure, Demarius Thomas had a good season. I'll go. Oh, I feel like I'm just going to be way wrong regardless. I'll go Demarius Thomas. Final answer? Yeah. Well, JL, you did see through the trick that it wasn't a quarterback, but you picked the wrong wide receiver. It was Antonio Brown. Damn it. Antonio Brown was the number one overall player that year. But I liked the, the thought process. And you, you saw straight through the trick that we got there. Unfortunately, you don't get any points just because I liked it. Um, but, Joey, you've got free reign of the board now. Which question would you like? So I got to th- – um, I want to do – A lot of people thought it was Peyton. We get a lot of Peytons in there. Yeah, a lot yep. of Mannings. Jamal Charles, yeah, I thought, Cam. Yeah, that um, was tricky. And then this from Basement, before Joey picks, one of the reasons I put that in there, like that made it even trickier, was the fact that Lev Bell was number two. They yeah. had the two highest scoring players in the league for fantasy in the same offense, and neither one of them was the quarterback. Like, that's insane. It was two position players that finished one and two overall that year. Just absolutely nuts. I remember you had a really big year. I just couldn't remember which year it was. I wonder how um, far Big Ben, like how far down Big Ben finished that year to have two yeah, players that's a good with, question. Uh, that high of a total. Yeah. Um, I should have looked that up, but I did not. We're all going to get to go again, correct, after my turn? Yes, everyone will get to go one more time. I'll go grab bag 100. Grab bag 100 for Joey. True or false? The NFL draft used to be 12 God, Jay, rounds. What the hell? That's not a $100 question. Um, <laughs> it's 50-50. <laughs> True. Final answer? Sure. It is true, Joey. The NFL draft did used to be 12 rounds, and even though you sounded very unhappy about answering that one, it's going to give you $100 and the lead, and you get to pick Ladarius's next category. Is the reason you asked, does everyone get to go again so that you would pick the 100 that you knew you were going to get right so that you could prevent Ladarius from getting the 500? That's correct, Bob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but since you sniffed out my plan, I'm not going to do that because I want to be nice to the guests and I'm going to go may the fourth be with you. Okay, Ladarius, you get to pick 100, 400, or 500, and may the fourth be with you. Uh, let's do 100. 100. He did it anyways. Your question is drafted in 2016, played college ball at Mississippi State, and took over for an injured Tony Romo. Which fourth round draft pick was this? It was Dakota Prescott. <laughs> It is Dak Prescott. You got it exactly Dakota right, Ladarius. It's going to add 100 to your total. Well making this tied. And you get to pick JL's next category, and I have a feeling I know where you're sending them. Now, the question is, do I want this to be close, or <laughs> do I just want me and Joy to be around to talk more wrestling? That, these are <laughs> – The debate could are- be like, if you give him the can I get your number, he's near guaranteed to tie it up. But if you give him the May the 4th be with you, he's more likely to get it wrong and not to, tie it up. To just fumble the bag. could yeah. take the lead entirely. It's it, that's, the, that's the question right here. And if you don't, then Joey could. Or if I don't, then Joey can. That's true. That's true. What's it going to be, Ladarius? Uh-oh. Oh. Frozen? Oh, no. Is he frozen? Or thinking. Frozen or thinking? Could be both. Why Could not both? both? He's thinking and frozen. While we're waiting for that, Sarah wants to know, has anyone ever played Sports Jeopardy back in the early 2000s? Yeah, I have not. I have. Well, you did? I watched it when it was on um, Dan Patrick hosted at Sports Jeopardy. I've never seen it. I'm going to have to look that up. So the questions are probably a little bit dated. Oh, oh you're yeah, back, back, Darius. Yeah. There we go. I, I have to consult. My apologies. Um, 
you know, you know what? You know what? I like a good clip. Let's do Can I Get Your Number. Okay, JL. Can I Get Your Number for 100? Tom Brady. <laughs> did, I, did he give it up? Oh, my gosh. I don't remember if he actually ended up giving it up or not. Because I remember someone asked him whenever he went to Tampa Bay. Uh, I'll go with I'll go with 12 because I don't know what other number I would pick. Final answer? Yeah. You almost overthought the $100 yeah. question. Dale, Wasn't there someone who was, 12. like, not going to give up 12 or something? I thought that was a storyline. Maybe I'm I think it was, was, it, was it Chris Godwin. I think it was yeah. Godwin. Godwin. And Godwin's Godwin, yeah. like, no, I'll give it to you. You're fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's my team. Yep. I should know that story. So JL, that's going to tie it up all around 1300 to 1300. To I'm going to send Joey to May the 4th be with you. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got that choice right there. Mm-hmm. 400. Um, also, the chosen row said Lonzo Ball also had that number apparently. Um, and Pittman. So, yeah, I think he had to text Lonzo Ball whenever he went to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to make sure he could have that number. Yeah, that, so that that checks you, Lonzo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joey, which question are you going with? 400. 400 for Joey. Drafted by Buffalo in 2016, played college ball at Ohio State, started only 11 games in his college career, and started for the D.C. Defenders of the XFL. Who is this player that was drafted in the fourth round of the NFL draft? I have no idea. You got it, Joe? Started for the D.C. Defenders of the XFL. The short-lived league that closed it, when the pandemic it's, hit. It's it's not Tyrod Taylor. That's the only. God, who was it? Oh, 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 God, oh, God. Um, okay. <laughs> um, no, it's not Matt. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm saying Matt Barkley. Okay, Matt Barkley. The correct answer is Cardale Jones. Cardale Jones. Sorry, only Jeff played Bell. eleven games in his college career and then got drafted in the fourth round into the NFL. Um, by Buffalo in 2016. Most of the season he spent not on the active roster as the third string quarterback, uh, but did make his way into the active roster as the backup towards the end of that season. Um, But he then started for the DC defenders and did fairly well in his first couple games in the XFL. Um, But I think he's trying to make an NFL comeback. We will see. Uh, We got some people in here that knew that one. Tim said, Cardale question mark. Um, And Dustin said, Cardale Jones, Bills Mafia all day. He remembered them drafting Cardale Jones. Albert, after seeing it, said, yeah, it's Cardale. Tim said, deaf Cardale. Um, Lots of people got that one. Or a couple people got that one. Maybe not lots, but that one was definitely tough. You guys want to see the 500 before we go into final Jeopardy? Just to see it. I know. Drafted by Washington in 2015, spent the last three seasons on the Jets, will play on a new team in 2022. Jameson I left out Crowder. some info. Joey got it. That one is yeah. Jamison Crowder is the That's answer. We got that one. one. The last yeah. one. Yeah. That was so much easier. Really? Yeah. I thought the yeah. Cardell Jones won like the 11 games. Like that's a pretty rare stat. But I was saying to Ladarius before, sometimes I can't gauge the difficulty of these questions very well. I mix them I know up. nothing about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So, guys, nobody got that one. We are going to move on to our final Jeopardy question now. The scores are 1,300 to 1,300 to 1,300. This is anybody's game. I'm going to give you the category, and you are going to write down the amount that you would like to wager. Um, So if you guys have a pen and paper, let me know. I'll give you guys about 15 seconds to write that number down once I tell you the category, and then we will go. The category today is the 2022 NFL Draft. That is your category. Mm-hmm. Let me know when you guys have your wagers written down. I don't know, man. This is interesting because everyone's tied. Like, this is a really interesting one because everybody's tied. All right. Yeah, I'll live with it. Okay. Okay. Jail, you got it? Yeah. Can you guys reveal your wagers? All ins. All. All in. All, All in, in from both of these guys. And Ladarius, what about you? 750. Oh! 750 for Ladarius. So if everyone gets it wrong, Ladarius can win. So it's 13. If you get this one right, Ladarius, you would have 2050. These two guys would double their score to 2,600. 
Let's see. And I will let you guys know, maybe the Jeopardy purists will get a little bit mad at me here, but this is not a traditional final Jeopardy question. Um, what I'm going to do here is whoever is closest, if no one gets it exactly right, will get will win final Jeopardy here. If two people tie with how close they are, then you guys will both win the points uh, respectively. But this is going to be a kind of winner take all final Jeopardy question right here. My question for you is, with what number draft pick was Matt Corral drafted? The number, not like round seven, pick 12. Like it was pick 374, whatever number you want to say. I need you to tell me with what number draft pick Matt Corral was drafted this year. Oh, I'm trying to remember our, our stream. At what point in the night was he drafted? I went through and time stamped every player. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds. Come with an answer there. And also a reminder, um, hop into the private chat if you're in the comments or just don't look at it. I'm in People the are guessing chat. in there. Um, and Mr. Scamper saying, holy smokes, a first time ever. This is the first time ever we've gone into Final Jeopardy with everybody tied. Um, lots of people got the Crowder question as well. Crowder, Crowder, Chowder. Is Craig here? For being honest, I put that question in here ex like explicitly for Craig because he loves Jamison Crowder. Okay. Yeah. Ladarius, you got your answer? Yeah. JL, you got your answer? Yeah. Joey, you got your answer? Yeah. Okay. If you guys want to go ahead and reveal your answers, let's see. JL said 98. Joey, what does yours say? 128. 128. And what does yours say, Ladarius? I can't uh, 176. See I think I went to 176, 128, and 98. Yep. Okay. The correct answer, Matt Corral was drafted with the 94th overall pick. JL, you were only four hey. away. That was a very good guess on that one. So you are going to get those points, and you are going to win today's game of Jeopardy with Ladarius coming in second because that smart final Jeopardy wager. And, Joey, you're ending with $0 today. I am so sorry. But, man, that was, <laughs> that was such a fun game of Jeopardy. You guys were neck and neck the entire time. Good questions. And I love the yeah. strategy at the end of taking the 100 so that you could guarantee you got to pick the next person's category. That was, that was really smart. Funny. That was, that was really smart. funny right there. Um, Ladarius, thank you so much for taking the time to come on with us today, my man. This was an absolute pleasure. Oh, had a great time. Love to come back. We'll have to bring you back uh, to the redemption arc next time. You come back and you get that W. You beat us up extra good. Mr. Scampers with 92. That was super close. Seven ninety three. An hour 95. Wow. Everybody Lots of good close. guesses. Carlos, I wouldn't make that joke twice in the same stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scott said between 60 and 100. <laughs> Technically correct. Technically correct. And Dustin with 90. Lots of good guesses in there. Um, Dan said Ladarius is the man. Indeed he is. Ladarius is the man. Dane saying thank you. Thank you, everybody who tuned in and watched with us today. We will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time for some more fantasy football game show fun. Until then, though, we are out of here, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye. Trading makes sense. Yeah. fun. Whew, almost missed it. <laughs>